Today I'm going to be swapping the fisheye in front of my house with a movie scissor because uh, I want to get uh, all that extra detail that four cameras instead of one will be able to provide. And I thought it's also a good opportunity for me to show you a couple of the mounts I will be using, including a corner mount, an arm mount, and a pendant cap mount. So all of this will come together and it allows this big multi-sensor to sit on one of the corners of my house. Now, both the fisheye and the multi-sensor cover large areas, but because the latter actually has four individual five megapixel cameras, will mean not only more flexibility for you, because you'll be able to use features like optical zoom, but also more clarity at the distance. Obviously, nothing is stopping you installing four individual cameras, but that will mean four cable drops, thus extra cost and complexity. This requires just the one Ethernet cable to provide it a path to the internet. The only difference between this and other Vercada cameras is that it requires the new PoE standard, the PoE++ in order to operate. Again, we are talking about four cameras into one. So always do remember if you're trialing this or if you're installing it, to ask yourself if your upstream switch has that capability. Not many of them do, thus I always recommend having one of these power injectors that can be sold separately. Now let's go outside and I'll show you exactly what I'm planning to do. So to give you an idea, that is the fisheye that I'm about to change. Again, it's great for giving me a good perspective across what's happening on the main street, uh, but I want to get more details, first of all, on one of the cars that's being parked there, have an idea if anybody goes around it, and also have visibility into the car that's parked in front of the garage. So looking at that corner, this is where I'm gonna take the fisheye out, utilize the cable and drop all my mounts and the multi-sensor there. The multi-sensor is composed of four parts. So you have uh, the piece at the top, which is uh, either mounted on the ceiling or on one of the accessories, like in uh, the following video. You have the multi-sensor in itself. So these are the four camera elements. You have a cover for it, protecting it from the elements. And you also have a black IR cover that will come across. As any other Vercada device, it will have a status LED that will allow you to understand the health of the device. So this is how the camera looks like uh, when it's uh, all disassembled, right? The actual cover itself, you need to use the small screws to unscrew it. And then on the bottom, there is a handy button that allows you to detach the main body from the wall mount. All the tools that you need are in the box. And also don't forget the two desiccant packs that will make sure that the camera will remain dry inside. Just before getting on the ladder, it was very important for me to provision the camera, plug it in on the desk next to me and just add it like a regular uh, Vercada device. Uh, again, this will avoid any sort of scenarios in which uh, the device might have a fault and you're just stuck there trying to understand where the fault lies in the device, in the cable, in the upstream switch. The multi-sensor has a serial number, just the one, uh, although afterwards it will actually show up as four individual cameras. And further down the line, after deciding if you want to go with the default settings or copy one of your existing cameras at a particular location, uh, you'll then run the multi-sensor as, again, four different devices. I couldn't do a video of the install itself, but uh, here are some pictures. First, you have the corner mount, then the arm mount gets installed into it, and then on it, you'll screw in the pendant cap and the multi-sensor mount. You'll install the multi-sensor itself, put the desiccant packs in, aim the sensors individually, 
and voila, that's the finished product. From a command perspective, you'll go from a single wide and distorted at the edges image to four individual cameras. And the great part about this is that now you can use one or multiple of those as part of your alarms configuration. So I'm using the bottom right as part of my outdoor partition. So in case a person is spotted in front of it after 10 p.m. at night, the monitoring center will verify and then will raise an alarm and give me a call. Something that, as you can imagine, would not be possible with the fish I, I had.